Hello YouTube, it is Chosen and Cha Cha here. How's everybody doing? So uh, we wanted to come up here tonight and we actually want to talk about the Chosen brand. Um, again, as some of you know, I'm, I originally started as Cha Cha, Cha Cha Ministries being solo. Um, and over time, um, as the Lord took me out and introduced me to different um, other ministers, other people, then me and Chosen got together. We became a couple. And as we were talking, um, he has a lot more experience in ministry and he has seen quite a bit, experienced quite a bit. And we were talking and he was just saying that it really wasn't, it, it would be like competing. And that's not what we're trying to do, especially as a couple. So as the Lord began to minister to me when I was, you know, driving home one night, um, after visiting him, um, the Lord really put in my heart that, I needed to um, go ahead and let Cha Cha Ministries go, but do do what I was doing, but under the chosen brand, um, being that he has more experience, but also in a relationship, the man is the head of the home. And um, even though we're not married yet, but we're running our relationship in the order in which we believe God typically stays is correct. So um, anything you want to say, babe? <laughs> oh, no, just uh, how's everybody doing? Greetings. Um, it's good to be back. So like we took a little break, you know, from doing the video, but we're back and uh, yeah, we just wanna we're gonna touch on on the brand, you know, we wanna we wanna start from there and build it up and touch on that. So yeah, I'm gonna open up in prayer mm -hmm. and um we're gonna get started. So let's yeah. let's pray. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we. We thank you, Father God, for this time that you've ordained, you've given us, Lord God, to to use it for your glory, Lord God, to minister to anyone who is out there, Lord God, that I need to hear this, Father God. It's specifically for them, Lord God. It's not about us. It's about you and it's about others, serving others and edifying others, Lord God, with your word and with our life experiences, Lord God, and using our wisdom and our knowledge that you've given us my Heavenly Father, and to use, Lord God, again for your glory. So we thank you for this time, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. So again, we're going to talk about the Chosen brand. And as you know, our channel is Chosen and Chacha. We're doing it together. Um, mm -hmm. But we wanted to share um, the vision and, you know, how, you know, the our statement verse for the brand, which is First exactly. Corinthians one twenty seven. So, Chosen's gonna read it for mm -hmm. us. So First Corinthians one twenty seven says, "But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong." So this is a verse that God put in my heart a, lot, a while while back, years mm -hmm. ago, right? Um, when he was starting to prep me to, to begin the ministry, right? He was starting to give me visions and, um, you know, in the way of, you know, dreams or just, you know, like, you know, when you're daydreaming, you're just kind of, you know, it's a spiritual thing, right, that God starts to give you. And sometimes you don't know, right, what it, what how it's going to play out or what it's going to take necessary to accomplish it. Right. But you just have to, you have to have faith or you have to trust God in it. And, um, also you have, it'll be matched with that desire. Right. To, to, so this verse stands out for me because I see myself as that foolish thing that God gave his life for, you know, it chose and, Chosen Christ, he's talking about right to, to, to die for. He's talking about he chose to die for you, for you and your sin. And, and, and for those that feel like they're the black sheep, mm -hmm. that feel rejected, like myself, I was the black sheep of my family. I always felt rejected. I always felt um, unworthy and unwanted. And that's what kind of stead me to veer off on, in the wrong direction running with the wrong crowd, um, getting in trouble and stuff, right? And getting into, falling into drugs. So this verse is very personal for me. It just kind of flips the, you know, it flips what, what we think of what the world, right? What a strong person should be, a successful person, right? It, it flips it upside down and makes you think that 
because people think that God wants to use the, the smart people, the strong people, and the, 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 the wealthy people, right? That's what the world thinks, but this, this verse says different. So yeah. um, go ahead, baby, anything on that? No, I think what I found interesting when he used that verse, because like for me in my circle before I met him, I felt the same way. Like I'm the black sheep. I'm this, you know, just feel like people didn't take me seriously, even though I knew God had been ministering to me and using me. So meeting him and that that was the verse that he really clung to in the ministry, mm-hmm. the statement verse, um, right. that was like, yeah, it's true. You know, because I've seen how God has opened doors using me, teaching me what it means to be an evangelist. So like, if you think God can't use you, that's a lie of the enemy. God has a pur- plan and a purpose for all of us. Um, but one thing that I do really like coming into the ministry is, um, you, you know, we're told to go out into the world and make disciples. We have to get out of our four walls. And I, and, and this is the first time, you know, in this season of my life where I'm really getting out there. And I am, so, you know, for us, this is really, it's neat. It's a journey and it's one that I'm really enjoying. Um, so we want to talk about like what it means, like, you know, being chosen, you know, again, getting out and the purpose of going out, you know, into the world. I am one of the verses that we did come up with also in scripture was Matthew 28, which is um, verses 19 and 20. And that talks about going out into the world. Like a lot of people just want to be pew warmers. They want to sit in the four Mm. walls. You got to get out there. It's not just being with your friends. It's getting out there into the world. So chosen is going to read that one. Amen. Uh, It says, uh, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Starts off right there by saying, um, go and make disciples of all the nations, right? Um, obviously, there's a context to that, right? There's, I'm sure, a specific, right, um, crowd or, right, that he was talking to or someone that was saying this, right? But we always try to take scripture and apply it, right, to our everyday life, right? I think that's where the meat is at. Try to do that in a proper way, right? And um, it's just simply, right, God does want his gospel to be to be preached, to be, to, to be sent out, right, in all the world, and for us to make disciples, right, um, when I think of the word um, discipleship, I, it's a very uh, personal word, Yeah. yes, discipline comes to mind, right, it's similar, you know, those words are, like, very, very similar, so, yeah, it takes a lot of discipline, and, and, but it also takes a lot of love, right? And a lot of patience to deal with somebody else, right? It's hard enough for us to deal with ourselves at times, our own emotions, our own mood swings, our own, you know, um, yeah, all, all different character traits, good and the bad, many of the bads, right? That comes out. So it's hard enough. We're dealing with all that in ourselves, right? And then to try to deal with someone else is, it can be a lot, or even us in our relationship now, right? Yeah. It's, I'm learning that, you know, I have to, I have to adjust to it, to being in a relationship now. I was single for a very long time where I just had to take care of myself and worry and not have to worry about someone else's emotions or someone else's, you know? So I think it's very, for me, I take it in a very personal way mm-hmm. for me, but um, go ahead, babe. Yeah, I think that definitely rings true for me too, because I was used to being independent, single, doing what I want when I wanted. Um, dance with nobody you know but yeah it's like realizing I, the things that I would do as a single woman you know ministering on my on my own stuff and the everyday life of a believer I was like I'm in a relationship now and, and I can't be doing those things because I have to consider his feelings like I said I, I mean I wouldn't want him I'm um, you know out there and dancing on videos or this or that you know outside of the music videos of course that are professionally done um mm-hmm. but yeah so I had to really start like the Lord was showing me I had to like bring some of that in. I had to be more reserved because 
I need to respect him. He's my boyfriend and I want to show him that respect. And like I said, I don't want him doing that. So it's an adjustment for me too, but it's also just, you know, working together, learning more about each other, our strengths, our weaknesses. I'm just learning to mesh our worlds together, especially in the ministry. But for us, you know, we know that the Lord, you know, brought us together. So it definitely, um, you know, that's a blessing for us because the Lord continues to work with us as he continue to melting our lives together, you know, which is cool. <laughs> um, so then another verse we came up with was James 2 26. And one thing it's, um, it's not just enough to like say you're a Christian. Like you have mm. to live the Christian life. You have to be active in ministry mm. and ministry doesn't always mean doing what somebody else does, but ministry is, you can be at work and, you know, a family suffering or a colleague is going through something. It's being there. It's, hey, can I pray with you? Um, you know, do you want to talk? You know, um, even just giving them a Bible, you know, I'm um, just, you know, I got this for you. You know, I'm um, just something to begin to minister. You, you have to be an active believer. We can't just be that once a week, you know, pew warmer. We have to be active. That's what the Bible tells us. Go out into the world. So uh, James 2.26, babe. Yes. He says, uh, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, like he's saying, right? God God um created us a certain way, right? He's saying right here, the body without he gave us a body, but he also gives us a spirit, right? Which the spirit is is more 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 greater, right? And then he, he says how faith without deeds is dead. So it's interesting how he uses those two comparisons. But yeah, basically what what I get is he's like, because anybody could claim to, to believe, right? If you ask most people, right, walking down the street, do you believe in God? They're going to say, yes, I believe in God and I, I, I want to go to heaven, right? That's easy to say that, right? But the Bible says we must be born again. It's only through Jesus, right, that we could really... Yeah accomplish that right it's, it's not in our own strength and um so the, it's by faith right believing in that right is how we step in but then after that we must walk in our calling and produce fruit right the bible talks about gifts and it talks about fruit right um the gifts are for the church to edify the church right and others and the, the fruit is is for your for your character right to edify yourself and and others as well so um those things are proof and evidence that we are saved right the holy spirit god gave us the holy spirit right as evidence that we're saved that's how we know we're saved that's how we know we're going to heaven right because we have the holy spirit mm -hmm. which desires to do good it desires to please god yeah. right and it is our flesh that doesn't um want to so that's why um Christians still do sin and we still are not perfect, but it's because of our sinful nature, carnal nature that we, um, we battle daily. The Bible says that we, the desires of the flesh wage a war against your yeah. soul, you know, and the soul is spiritual. So it, um, so yeah, that's, um, that's, that's what I go ahead. Babe. Uh, yeah, no, that's definitely like, Something that he said that it's not enough just to say we believe, right? Like the devil believes, right? The fallen angels, they believe, right? Jesus is real, but you have to like really accept him, come to that place of repentance. And there should be an active change even like immediately that people notice. And if, they, if we have to tell people that we're a believer, that's a problem. They should be able to look at us, look at our lives and look how we interact with others and just like there's something different about that person. So it's not just enough to say we believe, but we have to really accept Christ into our life, you know, and receive him as Lord and Savior. We have to be, you know, once we are saved and we need to be out ministering, as the Bible says. So that was something that we want to talk about that an event that's coming up that we're going to be doing. Um, so we have an outreach that's going to be happening under the chosen brand because that's what we want to do. We want to get out there and minister to people. Street ministry is really important to him. He has had a hard life. Um, he was homeless. I was homeless, but I, you know, was fortunate that I had a truck. He didn't have that. He did not have that luxury. 
So for him, it's really, it's very passionate. And um, so we want to get out into that world and really like, hey, you're loved. You're not alone. People care. We understand, you know. Um, and so we are on February 3rd at 6 p.m. at the Plaza Park here in Oxnard. We're going to be having an outreach. Um, we're also working with Day by Day Ministries um, to put this um, outreach together event. We're also going to be shooting a music video. Um, so we want to encourage people to come on out. I'm um, you know, if you want to be a part of this, it's amazing. I'm, um, we're also going to be having, uh, we're, we're going to be serving sandwiches. We're going to be serving pasola. We're going to be, um, there's going to be haircuts. I'm um, just want to bless the people there. I'm um, and at the same time, he'll be shooting, um, the music video and, um, yeah. capturing all that. Yeah. Capturing all of that. Cause it's, you that's know, that's what it's about. That's what the, and that takes us into the ministry, right? I want to talk more about, yeah. What the actually for those that don't know, right? They don't know what the ministry is really about, mm -hmm. how it started, and you know, it's uh, it's based, it's it was based and started with uh Christian, of uh, a Christian rap, right? Which is rap has always been a big part of my life, right? Mm -hmm. And influential in my life, even in the world, right? It's something I always want, always had a passion for. So God used that, right? Once I was saved, now right away, right? He he prepares you first. He prepared me. Mm -hmm. He put me around the outsiders and um to be discipled, be discipled by them and, and um I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that they were willing to be used, you know, and to pour into me and, and they did. And I was able to to flourish and to learn and to tap into my calling, right? Which was through the hip hop that I do now, right? Which consists of, you know, just, you know, writing music, um recording music, shooting videos, right? Um doing the clothing brand for it. Um but you know, different other things, right? Doing the outreach part of it, going into the streets, right? Um all that it all doing events, right? Performing at different different outreach events, different, you know, um CHH events. Um so yeah that's that's what the brand is all about. Um and um yeah this is what part of the channel is about. That's the part I bring, and then she, she bring, you know, her side to it, and we bring, we mash it all together, you yeah. know. And we're we're a team. We we um, yeah, we're really uh, coming together and really yeah. growing together, and um, we're excited about yeah what God is doing and upcoming okay. events and um. But yeah, the third that'll be the you know so it's the, the next one, mm -hmm. the next thing coming up for us, and uh, we're just excited about it. And um, yeah, go ahead, baby. Yeah, I think Closing, what's neat yeah. is like yeah, when um, when you're really seeking to serve God, I mean, we actually had something smaller in mind, but when God has plans, God has plans, and um, when God wants to bless, He's gonna bless, and um. You know, so God's taking the event that we had the outreach and he made it a lot bigger. A little bigger, a little and bigger. And that's what like, for, you know, well, people for me, bring their gift and the they bring it to the time. table, yeah. right? So it gets, people want to serve God. You mm -hmm. know, you want to, you got to put, surround yourself with people that want to serve God and mm -hmm. they bring something to the table. Yeah. So, and so, um, and so we're blessed. Just need to see how God's moving. It was definitely unexpected, you know, for us. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're grateful. You know, we really encourage you guys that. It um, doesn't matter where you are in life. The Lord loves you. If somebody thinks you're a black sheep, let them think what they're going to think. Because remember, as our statement verse, God uses the foolish and weak things of the world and um, to accomplish great things. And it's all God. So God gets all the glory where it belongs. Um, so, yeah, I just know that we love you. Uh, most importantly, the Lord loves you. If you want prayer, please um, you know, leave the comments down and we're happy to pray for you. Um, we also have our Instagram information if you want to reach out to us. It's on our channel. Um, but thank you so much, and we hope this blesses you, and we bless you all. Bye.